Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you a very important problem which is what is smallest number to be added to the given number to make it perfect square. So here I'm stressing on the word added because there are many problems on the square root chapter of to, to make a number perfect square like which number to be multiplied, divided or subtracted. So here the concept is which number to be added. Whenever the questions are asked like which number to be added or subtract this two concept addition or subtraction we have to always go by division method and whenever they are asking which number to be multiplied or divided you have to go by prime factorization method. So here I am going to show a division method or long division method. If you don't know the division method I have already done I have explained one complete video on division how to do a division method to get perfect square oh, it's okay I gonna explain you anyway here in this problem so let's go ahead so I've taken two example one is 1300 and one more is 252 the very first step when you're solving a division method is you have to pair a number pairing means you take two two numbers and you have to start from the right side for example I'm gonna pair this two zeros and 13 okay how I have paid from the right side so two zeros will be one pair and 13 would be my second pair then you have to choose a divisor you have to be quite careful here I have to take a perfect square this time so perfect square which is near to 13 or equal to 13 so 13 is not a perfect square so I'll take a perfect square less than that which is 9 and how do we get 9 by multiplying 3 2 times that is 3 into 3 which is 9 so 3 3 is a 9 normal how we do division same way subtracted will get a remainder of 4 then drop this zeros I'm dropping both the zeros because they are in pair now second step your divisor change now remember long division method or division method your divisor keep changing in every step now here how I'm going to choose it whatever your question is which is three now okay whatever question you have you have to take a twice or you have to take double so double of three is six or twice of three three twos are six i'll take it twice so i'll take a six here along with the six i have to choose one more digit it's not at over now when you're choosing this digit you have to be quite careful because this number that is a new digit in the divisor and the next digit in the question the both must be equal and how we're gonna do it I won't tell you see it's quite easy like suppose I'm just doing randomly here I have to get a number close to 400 or equal to 400 I'll not get equal to 400 because 1300 is not perfect square so I have to find something near to it like less than that so I'll take like 62 twos because I said like this number and this number like when we are multiplying this digit and this the whole number they both should be same so I'm doing same same here 2 2 or 3 3 anything you can take so I'll get here 4 and here 124 okay very less than the 400 so I'll just increase my number I'll take it uh, randomly I'll take let me take 65 Pfizer so I'll get 25 325 it's still less so let me take 6 this time 66 6 uh. see both number are same I cannot take like 64 into 3 no these two digits are becoming see, like different this this digit like this, this is from the my divisor and this is my question both are becoming different no this is you have to avoid so I'm taking 6 6 both same so this will gonna give me 36 and this is 39 good so I got near to 400 396 it's quite sim closer to 400 so I'll, I'll, I'll I'm not checking next number I'm not going for 7 because it will be obviously more than that so 36 sorry sorry 66 six, yeah. so I'll take 6 here I'll write 6 in the question and 66 six, yeah, I got 396 subtract it you will get a remainder of 4 that's it you don't have to do further so stop it here which means that like whenever you're getting remainder means this number is not perfect square 
so that is why they are asking you which number to be added so after division we can conclude that this quotient what we got which is 36 so this 36 square is actually less than 1300 okay and what is this 36 square it is actually 1296 okay 36 square is actually 1296 which is obviously we can say less than 1300 so after 36 the next perfect square would be 37 next perfect square will be actually 37 square okay after 36 37 come so we can say that and let me tell you what is 37 square it is actually actually equal to 1369 so we can say obviously 1300 69 is actually greater than 1300 so we can say uh, like uh, I'm just writing down this 1296 is actually less than 1300 and this is this is just for explanation I'm showing you this was 36 square and this is 37 square so whatever question you got you take a square next number square that's it so what number to be added if you ask in the question I'm just writing down here So we can say that 37 square minus 1300. What is 37 square? Again, 1369 minus 1300 is nothing but 69. Therefore, what number should be added? I have to add 69. That is, on 1300, I have to add 69 to get perfect square so 1369 is actually a perfect square and what is square root of this number it is 37 so this is how you should do it's very simple just do a long division method get the question and take a square of the next number square and just check it out how much you need to add more to the given number so I'm going to show you one more example this time I'm taking 252 I'm taking three digit number method follows for the all number it's same method the numbers keep changing but concept is same so so I'll take again 252 remember the very first step is you have to pair them so the 52 will become one pair and 2 will become one more pair now 2 is not perfect square so I have to take something near to 2 which is a perfect square now near to 2 is only 1 so 1 1's a 1 subtract I'll get 1 in the remainder drop this 52 now I have to take double of 1 which is 2 along with 2 I have to choose the new number here and here both should be same so uh, I'll take this I'll go for random mm, calculation I'll let me take 26 6 -a. I'm just taking randomly you can check random number bring it closer to 152 so 6 6 are 36 1 6 12 156 it's it's actually just larger than uh, 152 so I'm going for 25 then so 25 5 is up so 5 is a 25 125 okay this is smaller than that so I'm landing with 5 here I'm not taking 6 because it's more than that so 25 5 is a 125 subtract it here we'll get 7 here we'll get 2 okay so 27 is a remainder so we don't have to do anything with remainder we'll go for the question which is 15 so we can say that 15 square is less than 252 so we have to take next perfect square which will be 16 square Okay, next perfect square will be 16 square so I can and what is 16 square it is actually equal to 256 so I have to do 256 minus 252 which will be equal to 4 that's it so I have to add 4 to the given number so how we're gonna conclude therefore 252 plus 4 is nothing but 256 which is perfect square and square root of 256 is 16 that's it it's a very simple concept but it's a very important concept so I hope you have understood this thank you so much for watching if you have any doubts you can put it in a
comment box thanks again if you like my channel subscribe and click on bell icon